Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is from 146 students test for PTC, testing ability, 105 were testers and 41 were non-testers. If this trait is under the control of one gene with two alleles, calculate the frequencies of the three genotypes. Ability to test is dominant to being non-tester. In order to solve this problem, everything we have to know is Hardy-Weinberg formula where frequency of the three genotypes that we can get if we have in our gene pool two alleles, allele P which is dominant and allele Q equals and squared here means that organism is deployed. So would equal to P squared plus 2PQ plus Q squared and all this equal 1. These letters P and Q is used in uh, probability theory, in mass and in genetics we usually get used to other letters such as dominant allele A and recessive allele A. So P squared stands for the homozygous dominant genotype, 2PQ stands for the frequency of the heterozygous genotype and Q squared stands for the frequency of the homozygous recessive genotype. And of course we should understand that all alleles P and Q in this gene pool would equal to 1 or 100%. Again, allele P stands for the dominant allele and Q stands for the recessive allele. And 1 in such calculations are equal to 100%. Now let's return to our problem from 146 students. 105 were testers, so that means that this people who belong to this uh, genotypes, homozygous dominant and heterozygous, and we have 105 such people. And 41 are non-testers, that means that belong to this genotype, so 41 people. But these numbers are absolute numbers of people, but for our calculations we need frequencies. So what is the frequency of the people who are non-testers and belong to this homozygous recessive genotype? So we have to divide 41 by total number of people, which are 146. So 41 divided by 146 would give us 0 0.28. And this is going to be frequency of the people who are non-testers, so 0 0.28. Again, we are doing all our calculations on the scale between 0 and 1. So uh, that means that these two genotypes would make the rest, which is 0 0.72. Now uh, for our calculations we need to find frequency of the dominant and recessive allele. If we know that uh, frequency of the Q squared equals to 0 0.28, we can find frequency of the Q. Take a look. So Q squared equals to 0 0.28. So frequency of the Q would equal to square root of 0 0.28. And this is going to be 0 0.53. I round numbers. Now when we know frequency of the Q, we can put here. So 0 0.53. And we instantly know the frequency of the allele P or dominant allele A, which is going to be 1 minus 0 0.53 which is going to be 0 0.47. So let's put 0 0.47 here. Now when we know frequency of the dominant and recessive allele, our calculations are pretty easy. So frequency of the homozygous dominant genotype or 
uh, frequency of the allele A, dominant allele, multiplied by itself, or uh, P squared, or we also can say A capital squared is going to be P squared would equal to 0 0.47 squared. So this is going to be 0 0.22. So this is frequency of the homozygous dominant genotype. 0 0.22 plus we can find frequency using two methods. Uh, first we can subtract from one this frequency and this frequency and this is how we are going to get this frequency or we just can uh, use numbers that we got here and put in this formula so frequency of the heterozygous genotype which is 2 p q would equal to 2 multiplied by frequency of the p 0 0.47 and multiplied by the frequency of the allele Q or recessive allele A, which is 0 0.53. And we are going to get frequency 0 0.5. So 0 0.5. Now, when we add all the three frequencies of the three genotypes, we are going to get 1 or 100%. So we have found frequency of all three genotypes. And we don't have to multiply 0 0.53 by itself or square because we know frequency of this genotype because genotype here is equal to phenotype. And we already have found that frequency of this genotype and phenotype is 0 0.28 or 28 percent. 50% for heterozygous genotype and 22% for the homozygous dominant genotype. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day and see you in the next video. Goodbye.